In this video, I'll show how multi-vendor feature works for administrator. First, make sure the module is enabled and configured according to your needs. We go to Modules, search by multi-vendor. If you don't see it in my installed modules, you should find it in Marketplace and install following a standard module installation procedure for Xcard 5. Click Settings to configure the module. Select Multi-vendor mode. It defines what ship from address will be used, who configures shipping, and how the shopping cart looks on checkout. Warehouse mode implies that all the goods are shipped from a single place. The store administrator specifies a single ship from address to calculate shipping costs. It's the store administrator who configures shipping methods and rates, and the shipping method is selected by the customer only once per checkout. In case vendor is a separate shops mode is selected, each vendor will need to specify his own ship from address and set up shipping methods. As a result, if the cart contains the goods from several vendors, these products will be grouped by vendor, and the customer will need to select a shipping method for each group separately, and only after that proceed with the payment. The payment info is entered once per checkout in both cases, so customers won't have to pay every order separately. Define commissions for providers. The specified percentage amount will be deducted from vendor revenue earnings as a commission fee to the storefront operator. You can view the calculation formula here. Select access level to classes and attributes for vendors. Select use existing values only if you want vendors to use only administrator created product classes and attribute values for their products. Select Use Existing and Add New Values if you want to allow vendors not only to use the classes and attributes defined by the store administrator, but also to add their own product classes and attribute values. If you want your store's visitors to be able to filter products by vendor, keep this setting enabled. Make sure the Product Filter module is also enabled in your modules list, otherwise the filter won't be displayed in the storefront. The filter by vendor will be available only in categories that list products of more than one vendor. If you want your store's visitors to see vendor list in the sidebar, keep this setting enabled. Click Submit to save the changes. You can control vendor access to the admin area. Go to Users – Roles. Click on the vendor link and in the open page specify which roles should be available to your vendors. Default settings allow a vendor to manage only his own products, orders and shipping methods. If necessary, you can add more permissions for your vendors. Click in the box and select the necessary permissions. If you want different vendors to have different permissions, just add more roles in section Roles, and when adding or approving a new vendor, assign a corresponding role. You can add vendors to the user's list in the admin area, either by approving a vendor registration request or by adding a new vendor manually. A vendor registration link looks like this one. So if I add this part of the link to my cut URL, a vendor registration page opens. By the way, if you are already logged in as administrator, the link won't work for you, so you can log out or use another browser. For example, I'll check it in new incognito window. Let's submit a request as a vendor user. Once a vendor sends a request through this form, you can approve it in section Users. So we we'll refresh a page and see a new vendor in the users list. Click on the email address to open the profile and approve it. In order to add a vendor manually, go to Users – Add User. In the open page, type in the email address, which a vendor will use as a login to his account. Specify password. Select Vendor in Access Level field. Assign membership if necessary. If you want the new vendor user to change his password after the login, keep this checkbox selected. Click on the Create Account button. The vendor will be notified by email that an account has been created for him. You can edit vendor's profile information at any time. In Tab Financial Info, the store administrator will see the vendor's PayPal account email address to be used for transferring vendor earnings with adaptive payments by PayPal method. In section Users Vendor Statistics, the store administrator can see vendor earnings, amount you paid to the vendor, and liability. If the store administrator has transferred some amount of money to the vendor, he creates a transaction in section Users Transactions History. A 
The information has been updated in Vendor Statistics section as well. The store administrator normally manages categories to which vendors add their products. In case you want to let your vendor users add categories, you can do it by adding corresponding permissions in section roles. The store administrator can view and manage any products in the store, including the products created by vendors. The product list table includes the column vendor, which shows the email address of the vendor user who added the product. If we go to the product details page, the info on the vendor is also available here. The only thing an administrator cannot change is a vendor field. Products added by the store administrator will display administrator in the vendor field, however, this information won't be displayed to customers. The store administrator manages payment methods in the store. Vendors don't have access to payment methods at all. Transactions flow between the store administrator and vendors can be automated with the help of integration of adaptive payments by PayPal. With this method enabled, the store administrator and vendors receive payments such as commissions and vendor earnings to their PayPal accounts automatically as soon as the order is paid. Shipping methods management depends on the multi-vendor mode selected in the module settings. If the store works in warehouse mode, only the store administrator can add and configure shipping methods. Vendors don't have access to shipping methods at all. If the store works in vendors as separate shops mode, then each vendor should set his shipping methods in section store setup in the vendor backend. Those shipping methods will be used for the vendor's product's delivery. The store administrator has access to all orders in the store. In the orders list, there is an additional field commission where the store administrator can see the amount of commission for the vendor's order. In warehouse mode, one order placed by a customer is represented by one order in the admin area, even if it contains products of different vendors. In the order details page, products are not sorted by vendor. In vendor is a separate shops mode, an order containing products of several vendors will be divided into different orders, a separate order for products of each separate vendor. In any mode, the store administrator can update order statuses as needed and can make other changes to orders. The administrator can send order tracking information to customers related to the packages sent to them by vendors, if that information has not been provided to customers by vendors themselves. Using the Statistics section, Orders Statistics, the store administrator can see information on the store's overall sales as well as information on the sales by specific vendors. In Best Sellers tab, the administrator can see information of the whole store's best-selling products or by vendor. Please check other videos for vendor and customer experience. Thanks for watching.